Hi there folks, today we're going to take a look at the steps that you could use to give test reading accommodations with students. This is going to involve using the SoundCloud app, SoundCloud on the internet, and then a QR code generating bookmarklet as well. So the first thing that you're going to want to know about is that I have put together a step-by-step -step guide for this procedure. Uh, first you'll have some steps that you'll need to set up on the iPad and then you'll have some steps that you'll want to set up on the computer. There are some variations to this process but this is the direct process that I used with one teacher to help her get set up using SoundCloud generating QR codes for the recording and then having students access that recording when they were taking tests. So on your iPad you'll want to go and download the SoundCloud app once you've downloaded that SoundCloud app, you'll need to either register or uh, sign in with Facebook. I'm going to go ahead and sign in now. Once you've signed in, you'll see a dashboard that has some various recordings that others have shared. Most of those recordings are going to be music recordings, but for our purposes we're going to be recording voice recordings of a test. You'll notice down at the bottom right hand corner that there is a red orange record button. That's what we're going to be using to make our recording. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on that now. And then I'm going to click record. This is a demo recording for test accommodations. So you might just want to make a test recording that you could use to make sure that your setup is working properly. You can do some slight editing and trimming of the audio recording, but most of the time you're going to want to try to do this in one shot. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And you'll notice that I'm presented with uh, a place where I can name the recording, where it says what, so I'm going to call this Test Recording. And then it says that it's currently a public recording. The gray bar next to that is the button for selecting it as private. I do recommend for most of your recordings that you're going to be sharing with students just marking them as private uh, unless there's a reason for sharing it with uh, a broader audience. So now I'm going to go ahead and click post. That's going to upload that recording to the SoundCloud uh, site and at this point we're going to now no longer need the iPad we're going to actually go and set up the computer Pardon me. so here on the computer what you're going to want to do uh, first of all is I highly recommend that you go and download the Chrome browser you can use Firefox and Internet Explorer to do the next steps but there may be some variations and I have found that using Internet Explorer is a little bit more complicated so once I've downloaded the Chrome browser I'm going to go to SoundCloud and I'm going to then log in to SoundCloud. The login is up here in the top left hand corner. And I'll just go ahead and log in. Now that I'm logged in, I'm going to want to find the tracks that I've made. So I'm going to click over here where it says You and Tracks. And then I can see the different recordings that I've made. Another step that you'll need to do with SoundCloud, or pardon me, on the internet to make this work as a QR code is you'll need to, uh, in your browser, uh, enable the bookmarks bar. So this bar here that has some quick shortcuts to bookmarks isn't usually visible. I'll actually go ahead and hide that now. Uh, you'll, you can do this in two ways. You can either go over to the settings icon, which looks like these three horizontal bars, and click on that go down to bookmarks and then go up to show bookmarks bar or you can use the keyboard shortcuts control shift B or control uh, command shift B if you're on a Mac so I can hide or reveal that using those keyboard shortcuts. Then I have a link to this QR code bookmarklet on the supporting document and that will take you to this page and there's this red button that says QR coder. This is a bookmark a bookmarklet. A bookmarklet is slightly different than a bookmark. It doesn't just take you to a web page. It actually initiates uh, an action. So you click on this QR code bookmarklet and click and drag it up into your bookmark bar. You can see that little plus symbol there saying that I can add it and you would drop that down. 
So now that I've got that QR coder bookmarklet on my bookmark bar, I'm going to go back to SoundCloud and I'm going to come down to my test recording and I'm going to find the share button. I'm going to click on share and then I'm going to go down here to the secret link and I'm going to click on it to copy it and then I'm going to right click and copy or control C and copy that and then I'm going to open up a new tab paste the link into that new tab so that all I'm doing is going right to the private link for that audio file and then I click on the QR coder bookmarklet this will open up a tab that has the QR code and then I have some choices of what I can do with that code I can right click on it and I can save the image so I can save that image um, open it up and print it, save that image, open it up in another file and add it in like into a Microsoft Word document. I can also copy that image and then paste it into a Word document and resize it. And then I can also print the QR code directly. So I can either do Control or com Command P with my keyboard shortcuts or I can come over here to the Settings tab and go down to Print and just print that QR code and then attach it to the test um, or show it to students so that then they can scan it. Once you have that QR code you will need your students to have some sort of QR code scanning app on their iPads. And I'll show you one that I like. It's called Scan and I've put a link for that in the supporting document. I'm just going to type that in now and find the Scan app. And so I'm going to need to go and switch over to that QR code that we generated. I'm going to scan it. I'll come back so that you can see on the iPad what's happening. Uh, it took a picture of that QR code and then brings me to the audio file and now I can click play and it will then start playing that file. The student can pause it, they can move the um, time bar to a different place and re-listen to the question. That's essentially how you're going to use this to set up audio accommodations for testing. There are some variations, like I said, but this is a step-by-step -step how you could set this up for your classroom.